Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to October. As of September 22nd, fall is finally here. And since the last time I posted, there have been some changes in the market. There have been a little bit of a shift. It hasn't been as crazy as people in the news make it sound, at least around here. Usually when there is a shift like this, it causes a pause. People take a while to get used to things and then people move forward. In the words of Mad Men, Don Draper, I have a life and it only goes in one direction and that's forward. Those are good, mood, good words to keep in mind as we move forward over the next quarter and see how things change and how our markets change in relation to some of the economic news that we're seeing these days. Rates are a little bit higher. The person who was all set to buy something in March but didn't find something and they lost their window to get a really affordable mortgage may be waiting because they think rates are going to come down. They're probably not, but my guess is they probably still need to move. And once they adjust to what their new mortgage is going to be, they will make decisions and move forward. There have been some price reductions in our market. There's a little bit more inventory, but not a lot more. There might be a little bit more se selection for some buyers in some market segments, but things have not suddenly slipped into a buyer's market. Richmond is still considered a seller's market. It now seems to be a little bit more normal. Things are not flying off the shelf with a cage fight and selling outrageously over the asking price with 10 contracts or 15 contracts, but things are moving. Weekend before last, I put a new listing on the market, sold it on contract day with multiple offers for just a little bit over ask. This weekend, I was on the other end of that and represented a buyer who had to compete and to win, they had to bid over ask and, and offer some pretty favorable terms like no inspections and things like that. Please take a look at my market update video where I go area by area to explain what's going on. On another note, recently I've had a number of calls from clients and friends alarmed by radical changes in their automated value estimate. Apparently, these people go to this nationally known website and look at their home value very, very frequently, which is not healthy. Don't do it. All of the people that called me were really concerned because their values had changed drastically over a short period of time, like 500K. One of my clients who I sold a house to about a year ago had her value literally drop from about a million dollars to $500,000. I looked around, there was no sale in her neighborhood to cause that, in, to reflect in that algorithm. I could not figure out why it did it. I don't understand completely how that algorithm works in regard to some neighborhoods, but it was not working well in this case at all. I had several other clients and friends who had similar things happen in the same neighborhood. As with any asset of ours, if it, we got something that reflected that it was, you know, that much of a drastic drop, I, you know, I would be concerned as we were there. Um, I knew this first woman who called me fairly well, and I said, well, you know how to avoid that is just to avoid looking at that site. What I did start thinking about was there's got to be a better way to provide the information so it's a little bit more accurate and there's a little bit more input so that the, the results themselves are more reflective of where you really are. And I thought about it and I started looking into it and through one of my um, connections through my Realm Global Network, I found out about a automatic evaluation provider that is a little bit more interactive, a lot more interactive actually, it allows me to interact with it. It allows the homeowner to interact with it. And I've been working with it now for a little while and I feel really comfortable recommending it to my clients and friends. So we are, we are going to offer it to you. Um, and there'll be a blank underneath this or if you'll send me your name and your address, I'll hook you up with it. And uh, it allows me to make input so I can do a quick CMA and adjust it and the homeowner can put in things that they have done to the house so that the algorithm is more accurate because it, it will reflect updates and things that have been done. Um, and I feel like it's a good product and I feel like we're we're happy to offer it to people 
And so please sign up for it. And if you have any questions about something specifically relating to your house, um, I am always happy to talk to you about that and, and see how I can help you understand, um, you know, and, and also happy to talk to you about things that do affect the value of your house, like improvements or not doing improvements and how you fare. Um, but please feel free to reach out to me by phone or text or email. Um, my phone, 804-350-0879. Um, my email is chris at smallre.net. And I'm happy to hear from you about this. And I want to thank you for looking at my October newsletter. And please, if you're watching this on YouTube, follow our channel, subscribe, and hit the bell so that when we do this again next month, you'll hear it. Um, but thank you again for taking a look. Bye.